Hi, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today's topic is about creating a Polkadot account using the Polkadot.js user interface and the browser extension. We will also see how to change the password of those accounts. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that you're interested in that we didn't cover yet, drop us a message. Here we are on the Polkadot.js user interface and now we will use it to add a new account. We go on the Add Account button and now here we are prompted with a mnemonic seed. This is the information that we need to write down on a piece of paper and store somewhere safely. If someone has access to this information, we'll be able to access your account and your funds. After we wrote down the mnemonic seed, we can check the box here that uh, we have saved the mnemonic seed safely and click next. We can choose a name for the account and we can choose a password and then we can click next. Here we are provided with a brief summary of our account and we can click save. We can notice that the account now appears on the accounts list and when we save this account we automatically save the JSON backup file here that we can use to restore this account. If you want to know more information about restoring a Polkadot account using the JSON backup file, please see the link in the description below. We will now proceed to create another account using the Polkadot browser extension. We go on the logo on the browser extension on the top right here and we click on adding a new account, create a new account and we are prompted again with a mnemonic seed that we need to store somewhere safe, possibly written on a piece of paper. Remember to not to save this information on a computer or a phone or any device connected to the internet because it can be potentially stolen. After we have written down the mnemonic seed and we save it somewhere safely, we can check the box here and click next. We can now choose on which network we want to use this address and the recommended option is that we use one address on one single network. Remember that Polkadot supports a multi-address type, which means that the address that you create can be mirrored on different network. We choose Polkadot Relay Chain, we add an account name, and we choose a password. Then we click that we want to add an account with the generated seed. We can see now in the browser extension that uh, our account has been added my account extension here and uh, if we refresh the Polkadot.js user interface our account appears as an injected account because this is an account that has been injected from the browser into the UI. When we create an account using the browser extension we do not save the JSON backup file automatically. In order to do that we need to go to the browser extension, search for the specific account and then click on export account. In order to export the JSON backup file we need to know the password of that account. Then we click that we want to export the account. We can see here we exported the JSON backup file. If you want to export manually the JSON backup file of the account that we created with the UI we can click on here and then create a backup file for this account. We will need the password of the account in order to export the JSON backup file. And then we can click download. We can see the JSON backup file has been successfully downloaded. Remember that this information is secured by a password. You always need to know the password of that account when you exported the JSON backup file. To change the password of an account that has been created on the UI, it's very simple. You should go here and then change this account password. You will have to follow the step where you have to type the current password and then choose a new password, confirm it and change it. The process to change a password for an injected account is not that straightforward. In order to do that, we necessarily have to remove the account and re-add it with a new password. So we go to the Polkadot browser extension, we search for the account we want uh, to change the password, 
and we forget it. We click that we want to forget this account and always make sure before forgetting an account you have the seed phrase and the, or the JSON backup file. Now if we refresh the UI we can see that the account, the injected account, is not more present. So now we go to the browser extension, click that we want to add a new account and here we should select import account for pre-existing seed. If we choose to restore an account from a backup JSON file, we cannot change the password because the password that we need to use to restore the account will be necessarily the one that um, we used to download the JSON backup file in the first place. So the only way to change a password from an account that has been injected from the browser extension is to import an account from a pre-existing seed. In here we need to type the seed phrase. We can select that we want this account on a Polkadot relay chain and click next. We choose a name and then we can choose a new password. After we entered and we confirmed the new password, we can add the account. We can see the account has now been added and if we refresh the UI, we can see the injected account is back. I hope you learned something today about creating an account using the UI or the browser extension, saving JSON backup files and changing the password of your accounts. And I see you in another video.